Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Guess what? We are finally going to the moon. To the moon, to the moon, to the moon, 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 to the moon, to the moon, to the moon, 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 to the moon, to the moon, to the moon, 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 to the moon. We're gonna go to the moon. To the moon. It only took an entire week, it felt like. A million years. It took an entire week's worth of updates to get to this point. We're finally here. <sighs> to the moon, to the moon, moon, moon. But, no, wait, the cannon's back that way, stop. Oh, wait, here we go. That oh. wasn't the cannon. Red herring. Dude, this is great. Here we go. They all have battle stations, people. I was just thinking they all have special keys. There needs to be three people turning the keys at the same time in order to fire this thing. Shot through the moon, and you're okay. Detonation? Oh, yeah. I mean, how do you think you launch a cannon? Well, a couple explosions inside the innards of the cannon. Firing Mario at a million miles a minute. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that statue wasn't the cannon. This is the cannon. Needs an entire like launch sequence. Oh! <laughs> and I do enjoy that they don't even give Mario like protective gear or anything like that. Yeah, we'll just shoot him. Just splat down at the bottom. Just. <laughs> <laughs> He's right next to like the explosion that sends him flying. What the hell? Now, uh. I, I hate to go all Neil deGrasse Tyson on this situation, but... Oh, oh God. So sorry, sorry, I misspoke. I'd love to go Neil deGrasse Tyson on this situation, but, uh, uh, I'm, I I'm not sure that this would work. I mean, you would need a lot of force to launch, uh, a man out of the atmosphere enough to exit Earth's gravity and to maintain enough momentum so that way he can reach the moon. Well, they got the firepower. So if we had the firepower, I'm not sure he would be able to survive it because it would probably take so much force, it would completely vaporize his body. Well, Mario has survived worse. I mean, in Mario Odyssey, he was on the moon, no helmet. So, the, the laws of physics don't apply here. The, the law of nature doesn't apply either. Although, I, I would greatly enjoy an outtake where he fires straight through the moon. See, look, he's curving. He's, good, he's not going to leave the atmosphere. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna he's going to be launched down. over to the other side of the world. <laughs> Woohoo! Maybe he'll again, orbit. Again, again. Like, what, what? Am I supposed to assume this is cartoon logic or something? I would love it if that bob did a no-hand salute to Mario. Godspeed, Mario! Oh, shit, I have no arm. Oh, God, he missed it! Oh, okay. Ah. Well, explain this, Spaceman. How did Raphael Raven throw Yoshi onto the moon, huh? Well, that was a children's fairy tale. I mean, I don't know why you're being so uh, persnickety about that. And this is a children's game! Hey, this is a game for everyone. Wait, I'm everyone. So, uh, I hate this. Oh, yeah? I hate this. Is the moon difficult? 
Oh! Because you're slow, and you got this real big job. Now, it didn't sound too bad at first, but there's enemies on the moon who move just as fast as their Earth counterparts. Mmm, that's some good momentum. And I also have death perception problems again. Ah, oh, come on. You almost got it. Hey! Excellent. Stopwatch. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, thank God, there's a save box on the moon. Now we're getting into dangerous territory. Yo, ah. what's up, danger? I got you. Let's get Kumbilla out here. Uh, Maybe I can hit uh, him uh, just right so he can cut. Come on, man. There. And two. That's no bueno. How high is his defense? How high is that defense? Goombella, why don't you tell me? Five! Oh, God. Five? And no fire, huh? Okay. If I could turn over the explosion, it'll go down to zero. Oh! That hmm. was a big old hint to our main bomb bobbery. Who could tank some hits. Well, you know, the old gruff bomb sure is to have a little bit of defense. Sure enough. Oh, crap. That's actually awesome. Yeah, all right. Oh, that feels so good. I feel like I have a fighting chance now. By the way, love in this background. That's so nice. It's the moon! It's the moon! And it's spinning very, very fast. I wonder if this is the moon or just a man-made satellite. I'm telling you, we're borrowing ideas from Wolfenstein. This is actually where Mecha Hitler set up all of his bases. <laughs> Mecha Hitler? It's like one of the main enemies of Wolfenstein. Mecha Hitler. <laughs> Let's see. Let me just use Power Hammer and get as much damage as I can on this guy, and it's only four. I really hope the moon in the background falls on you. Like if you use a quake, it just falls over. Let's try this useless power. Uh, <clears throat> did barely anything. I mean, it'll eventually explode. Oh, that was nice. Hey, hey! Wait, could could hey, this hey. be... Oh my god, I think we've reached the, the point in the anime where UDJ takes all of the knowledge he has obtained through the entire story and uses it to his advantage! How the fuck do I jump? How well, you know, two steps forward, one step back ain't bad. Doc! Yeah, well, you know, two steps backward... That did nothing, by the way. Th what the hell? I thought explosions were supposed to work. I guess they need to be bigger explosions, but here's one thing we can do. Quake Hammer works, too. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That's very nice. I mean, unfortunately, it uses FP, so there is one downside. Doc! Hey, oh, you got your I, wish. I called it. Gosh, Niskel Dama's coming in clutch for this playthrough. Oh. <laughs> Trying to think of a good joke that deals with the moon, but uh, I, I just... Um, I'm having a hard time. It's like, no matter what I do, I just can't, I just can't create a good pun. 
I was just thinking, trying to come up with puns about the moon seems a bit loony to me. I'm trying to think, what are some of the named craters on the moon? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm just thinking, if, if you need to, expand a little bit. No need to make an asteroid of yourself. I guess I just need my space. Hey, I'll be here all week. I'm a star, baby, a star. Holy shit, that was a huge explosion. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Barbary, wh when did this happen? I think when we upgraded him the second or third, yeah, the second time, he got ah. this all enemies attack, which was, oh, it's great. It mm. takes up nine FP, though. God. But man, is it worth it. God, I'm so slow, I hate it! Not meaning to be cheesy, but did you know we're on the moon that's made of cheese? Made of Swiss cheese? A nice, lovely Swiss cheese. See, I'm hey. trying to reduce my commentary hey. to the speed hey. of what we are on space. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Y you, know where you, you know where you can shove that joke? Where? Uranus. Oh my god, he did it. He did it. He's running rings around me, dude. It's great. I just need to Saturn my ass down. He's running rings around me, dude. Sometimes I stand a heavy, but usually I sat a light. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, I heard the, the disdain for that one. It was like, ugh. Ugh. Ma making some of these jokes is just big, yeah. big ick. Yeah, you know, sometimes they just come to me, and uh, maybe sometimes I just need to plan it out a bit more. That was A-plus material. <laughs> I redeemed myself, yay! Yay. Yay. Because I can tell you I've got nothing else. I'm, like, trying to think of different constellations, but it's just not working. <laughs> It's like, hey, did you know there was oxygen in the water? Hey, Aquarius. I didn't even that get the was pretty setup right. Sagittarius of you. I was trying to rework Ornery into Orion, but it didn't work in the slightest. I think one of my favorite space puns, I think we heard on the Discord once, was, uh,. Orion got a belt. Didn't like it very much. Three stars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if ever you need see, humor. See, I, I don't think I can do space puns because I'm I, I'm too much in the know. It'll just be an actual fact by the t I can't make a pun out of it. Hey, did you know the moon has low gravity? Do 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 do. Bam, got it. I guess I gotta make the cosmos out of it. You got me. Help this. me. You've got. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude, but in the place you're at, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> you squeaked. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh man. I'm, I'm half trying to think of a pun, half trying to think of commentary, and half just You, you had me, like, speechless. like, silent laughing there for a minute. It was like we were <laughs> in actual space. Y nobody can hear you scream for help, nobody can hear me laugh. Maybe that should be the commentary, is like... Uh, like, not even Yoshi goes fast. I mean, maybe we could just pretend we're in the vacuum and we just can't form what... I, I mean, there was a, a scarlet-colored little gnome walking around my uh, my yard the other day. Then I, I looked closer and realized he was a red dwarf. I don't know! 
Maybe there's a reason that women are from Venus. It's like, oh, you can't make space puns? Well, we'll, we'll just head on over to Venus. Well, you can't head it over to Venus because it's uh, mostly filled with uh, dangerous, t toxic gases. <laughs> oh, God. He's reverted back to being educational. Pull the alarm. Woo, 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 woo. UDJ's going back smart. Bring him back. UDJ the science. J. Hey. What's Bill Nye's favorite fast food? Bill Nye the Science Fry! <laughs> I, there was actually a night where I annoyed my dad so much by coming up with different wordings of UY. Or something that, you know, ends in... Something that sounds like Guy. And giving him different variations on Bill Nye's title. You know, uh... Bill Nye's actually very, very bashful. Bill Nye, the science shy. There you go. Oh, Bill Nye, you just you just came out of the ocean. Here you go. Here's a towel. Bill Nye, the science dry. <laughs> Wait. Lately, he's uh, uh, taken on to pilot lessons. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Hey, wait a minute. You, you didn't tell me the truth, Bill Nye, the science lie. Lately, he's been uh, really hitting the gambling table, especially the craps table. <laughs> Bill Nye, the science die! <laughs> ah! Bill Nye, you just shot me! Bill Nye, the science die! Hold on, let, let me get dressed up for my science show. Oh, what's that you got there? Oh, it's just an accessory. You know, Bill Nye, the science tie. See, the thing about Bill Nye is that he's just a regular, he's just a regular dude. Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, no, shoot. Uh, uh oh, wait a minute. Do you remember his, uh, his favorite catchphrase? Oh, you know, Bill Nye, the fly for a white guy. <laughs> Very, very, very nosy, too. Oh, yeah? Bill Nye the Science Pry. <laughs> you know he's learning ESP. You know, Bill Nye the Science Psy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, pun Bill Nye style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting to the point where we're exhausting all possibilities. You know, Bill Nye the Science Psy. <laughs> oh. Lately, he's been taken on to philosophy. <laughs> Bill Nye the Science, why? Oh man, that was a pretty good attempt! Bill Nye the Science, try! Try! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh shit, Bill, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. What type of bread do you want? Bill Nye the Science, rye! <laughs> See, he's not exactly gay, he's not exactly straight. Bill Nye the Science Pie! <laughs> I was just thinking, I saw him the other day, I waved at him, Bill Nye the Science High. And then when we left, Bill Nye the Science Pie! <laughs> oh man! That's really sad! I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking of Bill Nye the Science Cry. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> All everything we've done, I hate. <laughs> it's too bad Neil deGrasse Tyson doesn't have a catchy catchphrase for himself. Although, I think, I think my favorite little mu musical thing that Neil deGrasse Tyson's done is a, oh, there was a, uh, a Nova episode where he talks about auto-tune. Oh, know, God. The, the the, the the science and mechanics that go into the computer software that, that changes the pitch of a tone. And hey, we're, late, we're an A-list star! Oh my god, what's that mean? Oh, the That means crowd... level level three! You know, oh, good stuff, god. yeah, alright. Oh, I'm actually crying. <laughs> so funny. But, uh, but uh, 
Neil deGrasse Tyson is talking about you know, how he's not really a great singer, so he just he goes into a rendition of Our love is like a supernova. Oh, God, please no. Oh, oh man. Just think if Bill Nye was redundant. Bill Nye the Science Nye. Ugh. They just keep going, dude. <laughs> they don't stop. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I mean, just imagine his favorite dessert, you know. Bill Nye the Science Pie. Who's your favorite King of Fighters character? <laughs> Bill Nye the Science Pie. <laughs> oh... Oh god. It hurts. It hurts. A lot. I think we finally ran out. Bill Nye the Science! I think you're right. <laughs> well, it's a god. good thing that we're finished because back there is the domed city, which is where we need to go. Oh my god. Are you telling me you spent, like, 15 minutes coming up with shit jokes? Yep. That's exactly it. Oh, well... It was better than having no commentary at all, or, you know, kind of going low-key for the moon. I mean, and there... you want me to do side quests! I mean, just imagine if, we, you know, went to a slow monotone, or humor wasn't very, you know, upbeat. Bill Nye, the science dry. Uh, <laughs> I'm, go I'm going over there. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Reusing humor. Hell yeah. But in a different context, even more. Hell yeah. Bill Nye, the science. There's no joke. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I was drinking water. You nearly <laughs> did kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, you found the pipe! You found the dome city! Yeah, we made it! Ugh. It, it, eventually. Oh, there we go. So this, if you can't tell, is the X-Knot's base. D d d d oh, man. Don't, don't be coy. We know. We know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I find it funny that it's domed in when Mario and all of his companions have been walking around with no helmet on in forever. Well, it keeps the gravity at a consistent rate. It's not for air, it's for gravity's sake. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, huh? Huh? So to close out the episode, we got a, we got a quote-unquote boss battle. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, we got fireworks now! Uh, okay. Is so, Goombella, why don't you goom tell her what we're... What's, <laughs> up, what's up with this fella? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, please don't start a new theme. <laughs> Hella! <laughs> my favorite Disney villain, Cruella! Holy shit, is somebody knocking on my damn door? What a perfect way to end the episode. <laughs> it's raining, better get your umbrella. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on, while you, while you go fight those guys, I'm going to make sure somebody's not knocking down my door. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, oh god, he left me alone. Well, uh, <clears throat> so uh, these are elite X not uh, fighters here, and uh, they got they got 10 HP and uh, some pretty decent attacks. But uh, if you've been leveling up and uh, upping your attack and defense at this point, you really shouldn't have that much of a hard time. And but uh, they got a pretty hard attack, so this is just a kind of a, a, a litmus test to see if you're ready for what's it, what's within the X fortress. But seeing as how we've been doing pretty okay so far, not a lot of uh, real big issues. I think we're I, I, I think it's gonna be just fine. See, yeah, nothing to it. Easy as that. And uh, get eight star points, and, uh, they, and then they run away. So, next time, on let's play Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. We're gonna explore more of the X Knots Fortress. We're gonna get Peach back, get the Crystal Star, or at least at least get around to it at, at least. Ooh. Oh, it's too bad Nisko's not here because this song is fucking booping. Yeah. All right. It was a bunch mm. of horse hockey. Woo. Oh, I would have loved this. 
You, you just missed the episode, and this song's cool. We gotta sign off. Oh, say well. bye to, say bye to everybody, Nisco. All right, bye everybody, Nisco. I hate this fucking episode. I hate it at all. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh, I'm glad I could make it ten times better. See you later, everybody.